everyone this is just deep um, from just review just wanted to give my review on realme x and um, this is very cheap phone which i got a long time ago and yeah i spent fairly good amount of time with this the overall opinion i would say um it's it's a very good phone no problem at all and um, cheap budget and you get a pop-up camera and fairly good performance and um, but at the moment I'm switching over from this phone so in case if you're wondering what it is and this I got it from my company so this basically helps to just make it stand and I can also put it in my car so this phone um, I bought it from India for 16,000 rupees which is approximately um, 200 20 euros or something i live in ireland so uh, this book uh, this phone works fine uh, no problem at all call signal everything is great um so far so good but at the moment i'm switching over to something very incredible which i'm going to show it to you um in the end of the video so stay, stay tuned and make sure you subscribe and which which is going to help me a lot well first of all I'm going to remove this uh, because I'm giving this phone to someone else uh, and I'm gonna stick it to the case later on all right so in case if you're wondering where's the case this is the case which I got with the phone and it's fairly um, strong as you can see but it makes it very bulky and it doesn't look good it does look very cheap but yeah I'm giving this phone to someone who is probably gonna break it if there is no no case first of all the fingerprint uh, it's the best I ever used just look at it all right the performance is okay and I got some apps uh, preloaded and pre-installed which I could not uninstall but most of them I did and um, the reason I'm switching over to something something else is uh, because I got an iPad and and I'm trying to use that instead of this for the full time but um, for the phone calls I'm switching to something else uh, which I'll show you soon the main problem with this phone is uh, the lagginess uh, sometime I, I actually never seen a stutter or like a phone is freezing or something never seen it but the problem is like opening up the apps it does take a little bit of time as you can see see and yeah um, YouTube and the main problem I have to, with this is um, the sensor which basically tilt the screen so that has a big problem with this like it doesn't understand where I'm tilting the phone so if I'm tilting here for, uh, the video is going on the other way and um, so it's just very annoying and the speed is the issue if you're wondering how's the gaming performance, gaming performance is okay. I used to play PUBG in this, but um, it's very difficult to locate uh, enemies in that game because I do play a lot of PUBG, but um, it's very difficult to play the game on this um, on this phone because it's just it's just slow. It takes time to load, um, boot up and all, and by the time you locate the person it's just you're, you're already dead i don't know if it's the lagginess if it's the network or is it is, if it's the ping but uh it's very difficult the one thing i like uh, from this phone is gesture like these are good but uh the problem is like imagine if i open something okay uh, see how how long it's taken this 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 if I open this so if I click this it's supposed to close everything 
right now it did three but usually it doesn't like if I maybe open YouTube and this I do this of course it's gonna do it right now when I'm showing but usually the app which is on the screen it doesn't close it and that's very annoying okay um, what else camera is fine I'll show you some pictures if possible okay so these are the picture I clicked with it uh, it's fairly okay but not great by any mean see how long it take to yeah. and I almost used this phone for six months with me and so far so good I didn't have a problem the best thing I like about this phone is very very sturdy very strong I dropped this phone without any case many times nothing happened to this beast this works slow and pop-up camera I can show it too okay so this is me it just takes time Charging is great. At the moment, I'm not plugged in with a fast charger. Um, included charger is like I guess it's 45 volt charger or something, and it's blazing fast. It does make phone a little bit hot, but it it charges fairly quickly. No problem at all up there. But I do uh, charge it with the I have the extension and it has a USB port, so I charge it with that. That's very quick too. Um, actually, I don't want to use uh, that book charger because I just afraid of it. it's just I don't trust it, so I don't use it. So and yeah, the charging here is also very good. I it takes around maybe one and a half hour and to charge it completely and battery backup I would say if I use this phone um, whole day it wouldn't wouldn't finish I barely barely charge it sometimes I charge it for 40% sometimes charges for 50% but uh, in, in terms of usage uh, in a battery life it's, it's great no problem there at all rest uh, face unlock uh, it's fairly good uh, it does the job and I don't have that much problem with this but uh, I want to switch over to iPad. Um, I got an iPad mini, which is very, very fast, very good for gaming. And for the phone calls, um, let me show you to what, what I'm switching over to. There you go, Nokia 105. I'm switching over to this. So if you want to uh, see the unboxing and review and the switching process, um, just um, stay tuned for the next video and I'll show it to you or you can click on the side and you'll be able to see. One best point and one worst point, okay? So not many people knows um, about this phone outside China, India or some other country where it, this, this phone sells up basically. Here in Ireland, you won't be able to find this phone at all. Uh, maybe in some websites are still selling this phone, but um, they're selling on the name of Oppo Realme, uh, not not the Realme. No, it's a sub company of Oppo anyway. Um, so turns out it's very difficult to sell this phone. Nobody knows about this phone and if someone sees the ad they just think it's a cheap ass Chinese phone Nobody I don't think so anyone anyone bothers to look at look at the review of this phone So I tried to sell this phone. I couldn't uh, so I'm giving it to someone else and switching over to Nokia 105 for the call-in and rest of the things I'm gonna do it on my iPad and um, so it will be challenge 
but uh, I'll see what how I'm going to face it I'm gonna get the new phone soon and uh, most probably um, Samsung a51 and I'll give you the review of that phone as soon as I get my hands on so uh, the best thing is uh, just a budget friendly phone which is very sturdy and um, give most of banks for the buck and you won't you won't regret it uh, screen is not that much good everything is um, okay nothing is nothing inside the phone is where some things like fingerprint are exceptional all right screen is good but I don't like the OS like OS is, is, is weird uh, realme color OS you call it but um, rest is all good um, this is where you get the money you spend you can let me know if you have any questions or if you want to buy this phone where you can get it and uh, so on so on cheers bye